Hello, my friends, and welcome back Got to Night City. Idiot. We're currently at the Ripper Docks. He, uh, I don't know what the heck happened, but but uh, we definitely need to get out because he's just repeating himself over and over again. A very nice little um, catch in this game if you're anywhere you want to stop the game. Um, so let me see if I can think for a quick second while we're there. So I feel like that was a major thing. We're still learning the game a little bit and it seems like we can come to the Good Ripper Dock and get our gear upgraded if we have enough money, street cred and cyberware. But right now I think we actually owe him some money so we better go do a job. Um, also like I, I told you last time, I don't have everything like fitting in my screen for some reason. I have tried to do something about it. It doesn't seem possible, unfortunately. Um, but so to offset that, I've at least moved my shitty resolution screen closer to my face. But then again, to offset that, I'm back on my shitty old contact lenses because I had a lot lying around and contacts are super expensive. So I have to use them up before I can get some new ones. So <laughs> if you're uh, wear contact, you know the drill. Well. I'm excited to get going and I have this guy stop moaning in my ear. So let's go. Guard up, you idiot. Come on, punch him. Oh, that's what's uh, going on. Jab with your left. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, no, we don't because we have no cash right now, right? I think it's. Right? Yeah, we can't do that. Let's just move on. I don't think we have to talk to him anymore. <laughs> Um, it looks like we can pick stuff up here, but it would be a pretty shitty place to pick stuff up now, wouldn't it? I don't, I don't think we can do that. Alright, so we need to talk to Jackie. I just want to take a quick look around here. Okay, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, thank you guys so much for... I, it seemed like you really appreciated the little uh, cyberpunk getup I tried to do for uh, the other episodes. So I'm glad you enjoyed that. And I cannot do that every time though, because it just takes too damn long. And I mean, we'd rather like actually get some episodes going, right? But thank you for the sweet comments. I really appreciate that. All right. I'm still, I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it's because it's like, I'm playing it for other people with other people that I'm so anxious about all the new controls. There's just, just so much, I feel like, in a new big game that I need to get a hold of and it's stressing me out. What's not stressing me out is you. How do, oh, is that a, like a Sphinx cat or something? Oh my goodness, it's cute. Oh, I, I saw a command. Do you have to get up? Whoa, oh, don't step on it. V, god damn it. But it's a weird position I have to be in to do this. Oh, it likes it. Do it again. Oh, oh. I did consider actually getting like Sphinx cats again because the, not again, but when I wanted to get a cat again because they're supposedly so sweet natured, but I have never met one and. I must admit, I do like them with a little fluff on. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Okay, so, meeting with Dex. I don't know, I feel like it's switching. How do we even go, like, see our jobs? Oh, that's it. No, it's just our phone contact. 
I was just wondering, let's see if this is it, is this it? Okay. I'm just thinking. We have like, it, it seems like it is switching. Oh, but maybe it's not switching up jobs. It's just updating as we move along. So we're still on the main job. And then we have already a, quite a bit of side jobs down here. Okay, so um, moderate danger. We're on that, that path right now. I guess that's um, as good as it gets. So we can, how do we, can we just take a look at them without tracking them? It would be nice to just be able to see them without, no, I guess not, okay. Okay, so that's uh, paying off your debt to Victor. We, I guess we have to do that at some point, even though I, I guess I'm going to mainly focus on main jobs if we want to finish this um, on the channel at some time in the future. And then I guess like with Red Dead, you guys can let me know if there's something you really think I would enjoy or that you want to look at from side jobs and whatever else comes up. All right, let's meet with Dex. What are you oh. checking them out? V, listen, okay. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. I'm the delicate. The number of cyber attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. Okay. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Incapacitating enemies. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns. <laughs> oh lord. With my major stick. Alright. Uh, non-lethal quick hacks. Non-lethal weapons. I just thought I saw her with a grenade. That, that seems kind of... Kind of bad. Okay, so um, but it wasn't EMP grenades and some combat gadgets, weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Okay, sure. I guess we'll figure that out. Psycho killer. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, fancy that. You look. I was gonna say um, something nice, but also, I don't lie. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. And girl in the trunk. <laughs> Let's roll. Or what? Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? Um... You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Oh, Night yeah. City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. Got it. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Uh-oh. Hang on. Got a question of my own, though. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. A pre-mission. 
Exciting. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. Okay, grab mm -hmm. biochip? Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. And sees Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this ship's truth, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's a prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Oh. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. <laughs> I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. So, street cred. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Yeah, I noticed I had zero, pretty much. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. All right. Entering a new area. Kabuki. Oh. Hello. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah. Claim to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom oh. and Militech. There's this combat bot military prototype. 
Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Chingon. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. All right. Go to Liz's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Is that now? Oh, what is that? It's like 4:41 p.m. Okay. So I guess we can go pretty soon. It always confuses me a little bit with AM and PM because we don't use that here. Hello, good sir. You and all your messages, like, leave a girl alone. Miss V, I just want to remind you again that Eddie's have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners in biz. Around some of 10,000 euro dollars to be precise. So when you're here to take it off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down as they're liable to do. Maelstrom being Maelstrom. Answer, sure. I guess. Who is this dude? Don't need it. Best of luck. Thanks. I suppose. Who is this dude? Hey there! Oh. Hello, sir. Well, I was gonna say, I guess time probably moves pretty quickly, but it isn't right now, no, is it? Can I see how far away this is? Meop. Can I walk this distance? I have no concept of distances in this game just yet. I mean, let's just walk. I'd love to see the town a little bit. We're in a new area. Kabuki? How far can it be? And I mean, we have to... Oh, it says there. 425 meters. Okay. I mean, I think it's fine. We need to get there by... S it's 6 p.m. Between 6... Yeah. So that should be fine. We can just enjoy the city a little bit. Oh. You don't want to fuck with me? Nah. Huh? Nah. I mean, you're a pretty girl, but nah. It's like... Okay. What's that? Maybe I should walk in the street like that. What was blinking? I thought I saw something blinking on the map. Maybe I didn't. Oh, yeah, there it is. What's that? Can I run? Oh. I feel like I haven't learned that. Just pushing stick down. But where is it? Where was the blink? I feel like I saw a blink. Can I climb? Oh. Oh, I'm, I am doing that. I felt like it went really bad. I don't know if there is a way to climb, I haven't learned yet. This is not going as I'd want to. Like, this should be possible, right? Do I climb on another? No, that's crouching. Go, go. Okay, this is proving very difficult, apparently. Hello. Okay, maybe I need to learn how to climb before 
doing this. Apparently it's not it's not my forte just yet. Okay, so this is running, just pushing to stick down. But where where is the blinky? I mean we did see something. What's that? A Euro dollars just lying around? Huh. Well there you go. Guess it doesn't hurt to scour the city a little bit. If people just have like money lying around. I mean that, that's cool with me. Still wondering what that was and if I can go to Listen. Is that the child saying that to me? What's that? Hostile situations. Night City is infamous for its brutality. Falling victim to crime is a common part of daily life. And it's gone. Huh? Um. I'm talking to you. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How do I melee shit? Oh shit! <gasps> this was not my intention. Oh, I'm not doing good. How did it suddenly go to shit like that? What was her problem? Okay. I guess now I know what the blinking was about. What the shit? They have better guns than I do. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Listen, I don't mind being a chicken like this, in this situation. I clearly got myself into something I was not supposed to get into. Like what are they, are they stunning me with that or what's going on? Oh, I still have that dude, but not for long. Oh, killer and cast a bit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, no. Oh, wow. That was not, like, um, my intention. But I guess um, it, was, we're, uh, it fits right um, on point with going to Lissy's bar. Like, I still don't really know anything about what I need. Power weapons allow you to control the direction of the bullet, the direction of bullet ricochets if you have ballistic co-processor cyberware and the trajectory <laughs> tra trajectory generator mod for Kiroshi optics installed that was a lot of words for a non-native speaker <laughs> okay sure okay well that was a little intense oh <gasps> oops what's even left to pick up from this dude Like, is, was this okay? Oh, I got a new gun. So I don't really know if I should grab all these things. And some dollars. Um, okay. So that happened, but did we know exactly what happened? I mean, obviously very hostile gang environment, but oh geez. Smart weapons require a smart link to unlock the full potential of their targeting systems. To install one, be sure to visit your trusty ribbon That one. You know what it is. Grenades. Okay, assign a grenade to the combat gadget quick slot in your inventory so you can make easy use of it during combat. But how? I don't know anything about my quick slots apart from 
the one I've just used. I guess we'll figure all out in time now, won't we guys? There's always much with a new game. A milkshake? Sure. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna leave money lying around. I, al I just started the game and I already owe people money, so... Okay, so, hostile gang, nobody is coming after me, so clearly nobody really cares that I did this. Maybe I did the city a favor? I don't know, like, I, I'm not even, like, I, I didn't even have time to read whatever it said, because it goes by too damn fast, like, who reads this fast? I'm not that slow of a reader, I think. Okay, let's see. So I don't know if, if our journal says anything about this. It says completed things down here, but it's it wasn't really a job, so it's just a side kind of thing, but I don't know. Once again, I guess I'll figure everything out in time. Okay, so um, yeah, really unfriendly dudes. Almost six o'clock. Perfect timing. Oh, so it's my... I have some stamina dropping down when I'm doing this. That is probably good to keep track of. What the heck is this? People just have computers lying around? Yeah, that doesn't... that doesn't look too good. Is this going to be something I'm going to need to do at a later time? Guess I can. Maybe. Okay. Well, let's get going, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's red. I would never. Wait. But, like, ain't nobody got time for that. They're not even driving. Why would I be waiting? Whatever. So this is um, sort of gross, huh? It doesn't really seem like a pro proper way for a person to walk. I... But there's, like, not really a sidewalk here. Maybe I just shouldn't have been here. Can they run me over while I'm not looking? I guess they can. Okay. Okay, this looks more like people oriented. Really cool. Oh. What, the, what the frick? Did I run into trash and hurt my feet? Oh. I, is this okay? Oh. Do I know you? I don't think you know anybody right now. now. Oh. I feel so mad and I'm just trying to be friends. Oh, who this? Hey there, doll face. Hey, girl. Interest you in a preem BD? I don't know what that is. What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Okay. Oh, turn wow. stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Oh. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come. All right. I know how to sell it. <laughs> Not a sales pitch. It's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Bespoke. Damn, that sounds promising. I get it. I'm in. Mm -hmm. 
Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? I'm cool with you that. Do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green deal. Like I don't know. Mm hmm. Doors uh -huh. open. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. Thanks. Like, so what if I said no? Then I couldn't have gone inside. My, what a sweet little face you have. Well, what a sweet little cup you have. Was it this is like a magic bar? That's cool. Whoa, whoa, she's good. This girl is good. No, no, don't play Alright. Hey girl, hi. No, don't cry. Okay, so this is all fun. Well, but yeah, I'm like, what if I said no? Then I was not supposed to, then I couldn't go in and then then I just couldn't like do my job or what? I I would What's that? I'm seeing nightlife. What is that? Do I accomplish anything by getting shards? Or is it just for my own like amusement? I'm a dance head, all right. Yeah. Right. I guess this is it. Hey. Get you something. So curious, the name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh no, I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. The girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. <laughs> Let me guess. It didn't last. No, Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. There you go, Lizzie. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. <laughs> Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms no, to this cry. day. This, <laughs> What's on the menu? Oh. Okay, Lizzie's bar. What you got for me? That's expensive. 30 euro dollars for a shim paradise. I was just going to say, does this even do anything good for me? But no, it reduces my movement and my weapon accuracy. Maybe that's not how I want to meet. Um, a, a, like a new client. Acla applies the hydration status, which increases mock stamina by 10. And like, who even knows what all this is? But this looks like nice and, and fruity, right? We'll go with something. I feel like that's that's non-alcoholic and and I can afford it. So maybe that's good. Maybe we should do that. Now this looks nice and tea flavored and I just, just, just oh so it's like I don't even consume it right away. I just get it in my inventory or something. Sin. That's stupid. Looking. I want to get drunk now. No, no she's here. Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Always cool. helps a little, doesn't it? But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. Then I want my money it's back. Right, Mateo. Let's wait for this one. Is that my girl? Evelyn Parker. 
And now he can give me a drink. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. There you go. Sense on. Only tequila I drink. Hm. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. <laughs> Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Cool. Okay, so I bought a stupid drink. I was not allowed to drink, and then I got a drink for free. I guess it all adds up. Oh. Oh. There you go. Little something so we can't monetize this shit. There you go. <laughs> Am I just standing on the seats like a non-adult? <laughs> All right. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective. It's me. And trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I don't know what these things mean just yet. I'm waiting. Yet. You but. don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. We try. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Am I? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Oh, don't you worry. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr. is planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like you Nobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. 
So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. I sure hope so. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because your Nobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path and so has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo, Dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one, nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need oh. facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No, they can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Of course! You can count on Would me, Would you babe. like anything else? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, don't thank me. Relax. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. 
you uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. No, Judy's don't always cry. been there for you me. Got this, though. I always helped out. Mm -hmm, sure. I trust her. Sure. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. If you say so. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact, in biz or life. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough like a hair. Already. Gonna make me barf. Ah. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances? Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your beauty, Ev. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Oh, okay. Okay, so Believe some... me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside, let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. All right. Well, so it seems like some of the conversation options are only an option if we have enough like level points in a certain skill or something and sometimes there's a little icon in front of them which might mean that we have a better chance at, su at succeeding if we have a high level point in some place i don't Me. know that one what yet so for? i'm explaining something to the people Okay, so this is exciting. Like, I still like how V goes into a chair, like she's never been in one before. Profile first. Crawls into it and turns around. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If Thanks. I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. <laughs> okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. I'm gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Yeah, mm -hmm. he did. <laughs> okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. 
Fucking business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Let's Boot it up. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. <laughs> got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. See you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Oh. Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! I'm not doing this, by the way. Just so you know. Oh! A flash of intense shock. Could warn me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure Thanks. about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. We'll see oh. yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the b and then that one. Indeed, to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Should I? Should I? Why would you not say what's the All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off the recording. You can make such a Yeah, Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Okay, play the recording until you spot the gun. So that's what, and we can only scan a clue during moments when it's perceived by the person recording the brain dance. Okay, I guess we okay, just. Right here. Yeah, gotta get going. Alright, indicates currently selected layer, visual layer, thermal layer, sound layer. Okay. Bold sections on the track indicates a scannable clue. Okay. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappeared from the track. Okay, okay. Guess we'll...
and move around the camera. That's probably gonna help. That's why. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. That right there, or... That's it. Okay. Fuck! On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Hmm. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. All right. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Oh. Huh. Hella nice. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Um, that was a lot. Scan and inspect the hurt customer. That's it. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, where I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa, yeah, hey, uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it come. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Uh-huh. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Um... There's a lot to keep track on. Off. Um, to where what? I am scanning, am I not? I did that, I just scanned it. Good demon. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. I guess so. But that's a lot to keep track of. I know they want to prepare me for having to do it with the actual program. But this is still... A few things. They're like... Welcome to game two. Now learn these controls. Yeah. Impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Flogging the anyway, log. you ready to do this? Look at your wreck. I don't know. Maybe. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. Think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. 
Evelyn. I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know oh, she'll no. only purge in this Cheat snake, observe, sorry. Not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, I thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking it to your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, let's see if we can work this out. All right, V, eyes open. Gotta find out where your node was keeping the relic. Send the brain dance and the last analysis mode. Whoa! You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. Okay, so. Examine the brain dance in analysis mode to find relic and optional scan the apartment security systems and watch the whole recording from Evelyn's point of view. Okay, so, but it's already lighting up here, so maybe we should go back and... Smash her. Cute. Danger extreme. So, yeah, that's great. 75% cybernetic modification. So it actually is not a robot, but... <laughs> Alright. Neat. I said... No. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. Oh, good. No, sure I wish. Where do you need to go to? No, this is right, right? I think so. Maybe we should just, like, watch it. Like this? I don't know. Perish for a good we'll cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. How do we switch layer again? Um, what is the button for that? There you go. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to- Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm still a little shaking all these things, I must admit. This one we already scanned, right? Is that a different thing? Right. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. 
He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. In Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. All right. In the visual layer, scan your notebooks. Data pad. Oh, it's turned on. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. <laughs> It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any candy left? Steph was... All right, here we go. Something. It's data pad. Where's that even at? Can we see that here? Does it light up or anything? Oh. Where is this data pad? Like, wouldn't it be, like, it says we're leaving signal data thing if we get too far away, so. Should be close by, right? Pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Now we've gotten too far away. Is that it? Is that the data pad? We'll rewind a little bit. Camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. I guess that was the apartment security systems, or at least part of it. I mean, we should be on the right layer. Data pad while it's turned on. I mean, it should be turned on in this, like, what's popping up when I'm here? Anything? On me. Oh, got any candy left? Oh. Steph was there it is. Fun last time. Bedroom. Night hand, night stand, stand. No dip. I thought we looked pretty well at the table. I guess we didn't. Boss, there you go. Right? Right. What? Is, okay, is it, is it not turned on until he goes and gets it? Is that it? Okay, I guess we'll continue a little bit. Oh, got any candy left? Step was. Why it's turned on? I mean, is that not the data pad? Where is it? I don't really see any. Anything that should indicate it. I mean. Fun last time. Bedroom. No dip. Yeah, that's not 
Is that it? Up there? Oh. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. That's still not it. That's still apartment security systems I'm working on. And that one we already got. Well, I would think the data pad would like be the one right there, but why isn't it? That's a phone? Where the heck is this data pad then? Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, is it like all the way back here because I didn't do that in the early beginning? There's still a marker there, I guess. And now it disappeared. But then this, the green one is also still marked up. Like I haven't listened in on that one, and we did that. Wow, champagne's decent. The taste boosted somehow. Just the price. The same bubbly you'll be sipping in real space soon. Okay, guess that's what we need to do, right? Scan data pad. Where is it? Alarm firmware is fresh. But saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds fall into this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. Oh. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Well. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Well, I guess that wasn't it, but now we cleared no. it, so I don't know. But make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see, Stefan. It says visual layer, but I don't see any markings there. A world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not write right. them. Enough. Well, we did hone in on both of these, didn't we? Sorry, so. This is me stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. I'm with you. You get to work on that, won't you? you wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I got an idea. Be right back. Well, I don't know why the audio didn't, dis didn't disappear. I feel like we did listen in on all of it just before. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. What love is until you look. Okay, here we go. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Then the data pad. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chips gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. Now all I need is to remember that when I get there. Even single, yeah, but all of these are very like hot, right? I was thinking you should look for something like intensely blue, since these are lamps and people. Well, I guess we need to stay close to our friends here, so let's play it for a little bit and see what happens. Oh, or maybe we don't want that. 
Good thing we're in the thermal layer. Warikome. I miss this. You. I know. Well, I guess we have to move to... Oh, look at that. Should be a thermal clue around here, so maybe we need to get closer to our friend over here. Oh, there is something. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Temp matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Alright. Guess we'll keep scanning. Rewinding. Okay, so we could have something in this area. Let's see what we got. Oh, Donaghy's. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Thank you. You wish to make demands of me. Okay, so they're not happy with my ice bucket to hide a chip in an ice bucket. Conversation layer still keeps green, green too. I don't know why, but hopefully it doesn't mean too much. Okay, so there, there is a fridge there. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. But fancy ass fridge nonetheless. Not an ordinary fridge. All right, we'll see what we can find. What else we got? We gotta follow a leading lady here because I guess she should be the one with the memory of it. Now we're getting kind of far away, but... Oh, so we get sent back to her? Maybe we'll move her forward a little bit. Yeah, then we should be close enough, I hope. Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Thus? You are no hatch or something? Here. Guaranteed. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks Exciting. like we got it. Quit out of the editor. All right. Exit the brain dens when you're ready. I'm ready, but I can still scan something here, right? I know we have found it. Now I just need to remember. Maybe I should take a look at it. In, like. That's not it. Like this. So it makes sense. Okay, so over there, because, because my sense of direction is... The my father is tired. Visual it's just bad. Old gray beard who thinks nothing will change. And so, he'll okay. live forever in his tiny... We'll try to remember that. I, should not even be on the I hope. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Over there by the corner. I hope I can remember that. Because I'm gonna need it pretty shortly, I say. No. Alright. We need to exit the brain dance. Um, how do you do that? Editing, close. There you go. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cache on your data. You were never here. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device <laughs> for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Thanks. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. 
Thanks, Judy. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Okay. Well, I guess uh, this is it for the episode with our brand new friends, Judy and Evelyn, who's like pretty much straight out of Blade Runner. I uh, love her get up. So I guess this was our first brain dance and next episode we'll be ready for the actual thing getting this uh, chip that we hopefully remember where it is and should be able to find without any problems or drama. Well, we'll see if that happens. You will too if you tune in in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a little thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you all 